greetings in this video I'm going to help you fix your Sanyo TV flat screen TV that no longer turns on you just have a black screen so most likely your TV is a few years old because Sanyo is really known as v Vizio as of right now so first thing I want you to do is physically while your TV is plugged in physically go in the back and see if you can physically turn it on that way if it does turn on then you know it's just an issue with your remote control and that you need to replace the batteries or you got a bad remote but that's good news it means your TV's working now if you've tried that go ahead and check your HDMI ports on your Sanyo make sure that there's no Xbox PS4 connected or a Fire Stick or a Roku unplug everything except the power cord and then see if it will work a lot of times the HDMI uh, device will short circuit the power okay now after you've tried that we're going to do a soft reset so we're going to go unplug it for at least a minute keep it unplugged and that's going to do a soft reset now while it's unplugged what I want you to do is if you have a remote to the uh, Sanyo point it and then hold the power button for at least 30 seconds while you're pointing it directly at the TV okay after you do that locate the power on the back of the TV sometimes it's on the side sometimes it's on the bottom and then hold the power button down for 30 seconds let go and then what we're going to do is we're going to plug it up and then see if that fixes the issue and that will fix a lot of the Sanyo TVs just doing that one thing right there alright next thing I want you to do is if you've tried all that I want you to get like a hair dryer and I want you to actually heat the components of the Sanyo TV on the back. Now, unplug the TV from the wall. Keep it unplugged. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a hair dryer, high pressure, about medium heat. And we're going to blow anywhere you see a vent on the very back. So what that's doing, it's doing two things. Number one, it's blowing the dust off of the circuits. And number two, it's actually heating up the components, changing the chemistry just a tad. All right, and so we're going to blow into everything. Okay, after I do the whole TV, we're going to keep it unplugged, wait for about 20 minutes, let it cool down, and then turn on the TV and see if it works. It's a possibility it will. That will actually fix a lot of the TVs. All right, next thing I want you to do is check the power cord. And it's possible that you can unplug the power from the very back. And that would be a good thing. Examine the power cord and see if you can replace this portion right here. This is called a non-polarized AC power cord. You can get them on Amazon or eBay. I could put a link in the uh, comment section but you might have one of these laying around your home like an HP printer, Epson printer, an Xbox, PlayStation, a lot of devices use this. Temporarily bar it from that device and hook it up to your Sanyo. Some of them might be three holes like this, like a triple, like a tri like a triangle looking thing, and you might have one of those. If not, try to buy one on Amazon. It's a possibility it's just your power cord that needs to be replaced. All right, if you've tried all that, I think it's time to get a new TV. If, if you've got a Sanyo with the Sanyo logo, most likely it's at least five or six years old. They're, they run great deals on Sanyos all the time. Look for Amazon Prime Day deals. I know a lot of times it's in July. And uh, sometimes you can pick up a Fire TV for like 100 bucks, 52 inches. I'm not joking. So there's always good deals on TV. They're practically giving them away now. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.